So about a week ago, I bought this. And I've been getting pretty comfy on it, so here's a couple of tips on how. First tip would be cruise a little bit every day. You just want to get comfy balancing, moving, different speeds, different terrains, different obstacles, for example, human beings on a footpath. The other thing is, you don't want to wait too long between rides because then you're going to feel uncomfortable and like you've forgotten what you're doing and it's going to take a lot longer to warm up to the place where you were already at in the last session. So all that being said, I'm no expert and I'm still just learning my very first moves of longboard dancing. So here we go. So the first step is the 180 step and I would probably recommend doing this first because it is a little bit easier and it gets you used to riding switch. This is what a 180 step looks like and you'll see that you end up with the opposite foot forward which I've discovered since my last video is called riding switch. So my tip for this one would be to practice on a very slight downhill. You want to be able to go at a constant speed and not slowing down like you would on a flat surface because you're not going to be thinking about pushing yourself along. But that's a problem because if you're going too slow, one slightly wrong shift of your weight is going to send the board backwards and you forwards or vice versa. So hunt around for the perfect place to practice at a skate park might be a good idea and be prepared to be there for a couple of hours. So the next popular beginner's step is the cross step and this one is a lot harder so I wouldn't recommend trying it first. So this is what the cross step looks like on a stationary board. You can see that you never switch sides so you do end up on the same stance. Now I'm no expert on this one but I do recommend practicing on a stationary board that isn't going to shoot out from underneath you just to get your toe positionings. One thing to look out for is not putting your feet too far forward too soon because then you're going to run out of room very quickly. The other thing is you're going to want to practice this one somewhere where there's lots of room to go side to side because all of your weight is so far on one side of the board you're going to do a very sharp turn. So that's where I'm at after about a week of having this board and I think the next steps would probably be along the lines of combining different moves, just getting more comfortable and making each step obviously look a lot more graceful than I am at the moment. But I hope this progress update at least gives you some idea of how quick you can progress and keeps you motivated that if you're trying to learn too, it's not fast but it's fun.